Hey everybody, Jochen here and today I am bringing you the top 25 unknown commands when using Dinobot. Now bear in mind when you start these commands the first thing that you need to do is you need to go to your Dinobot server and in the modules setting you need to make sure that these modules are actually activated depending on the commands that you want to use. And once these modules are activated, under the commands tab, you can actually choose which ones you want enabled and disabled for each of those modules that you have decided to enable. Now, once that is done, also bear in mind that you can go to the dinobot.net slash commands section or just click on the tab at the top there. And these will give you in-depth information on how to use any of these commands as well as highlight a couple of the commands that I'm not going to highlight in this video because I am going to show you the top 25 unknown commands that I feel people often forget about when using Dinobot. Okay, the first section that we're going to be looking at is the miscellaneous section and we are going to look at the AFK and then the message. So I'm on holiday. Holiday. Now what this does is as soon as anybody pings you in the channel itself, so if we have a look at uh, got Stealth Raptor over here, and I'm gonna say, hey Jochen, how are things? Then it gets an automatic reply that says, Jochen is AFK, I'm on holiday until a few seconds ago. Now, in addition to the AFK, you can also say AFK ignore, and that'll mean that if you specify the channel, that when you type in that channel, it will not bring you back from the AFK status. So bear in mind that you want to do that first before you go on AFK, because otherwise, well, you'll end up with coming back from holiday, even though you're still on holiday. Okay, so that brings us to number two. So let's just clean this up a bit. So number two is server info, very straightforward server info and it shows you the information on the server, what kind of roles there are, how many humans there are, how many bots there are and how many people are online. So it just gives you a little bit of a summary on that one. Next we have member count. So member count and I want to see how many members are in the server. And this is a summary or a subsection of the server info only showing you the amount of members divided by online people, humans and bots. Okay, and next we have who is. So who is Yoken B? Well, it'll tell you exactly that Yoken B is currently online, when they joined, which position in the server they joined, what kind of roles they have assigned to themselves, any kind of key permissions in the server, and then any kind of acknowledgement. So it tells you here that I'm the server owner. And the final one for the miscellaneous section is emotes. Well, these are all the emotes that I have available in my server at the moment. So, Feel free that when you jump into the server, check out which emotes they have and then you can start using them just by scrolling over to see what exactly the emotes are that you can use. Next, we get to the manager section. So under managers, you need special permissions and the permissions that you need, if you look at the server over here, would generally be the manage server or manage roles or manage channels or all of them. Now, I'm not going to go into the permissions just at for all these commands but just to give you a quick overview of what you might run into just go and look at those permissions so the first one is add mod now I want to add a moderator and I want to add stealthy raptor as a moderator to Dinobot or I want to add guardians as a moderator to Dinobot now this is how you actually get if you look at them um, when you go to your Dinobot website and you go to bot settings the mod roles over here guardians that is how you get a moderator role into your mod role under the bot settings. Is you come in here, you say add mod, give the role of the one that you want, and that'll actually add it in there. Okay, next up we have got clear warn. So clear warn is actually a second step. Uh, the first step being warn, which we'll get to at a later stage. But clear warn will actually be able to clear any warnings that you have assigned to anybody. If you want to know what uh, moderators are in the channel, you can just say list mods and it'll tell you exactly who's admins and who which moderator roles you have available. Then we have got the purge command. This is probably one of my favorites and you can do so much with the purge command. 
you can purge anything from a user matches criteria not has something starts with in with links just have a look at this and you'll see that this command that I keep on doing with the P is actually a command that I wrote to not have to type in purge all the time so all I'm doing is I'm purging the last 10 messages so if I do purge 10 and it'll take the 10 messages away and clean up the channel for you now I can also purge per user per channel per time per links so definitely something worthwhile if you want to keep your entire channel clean next we have got modules now modules will actually show you which modules have been enabled this saves you the time from having to go to your Dinobot dashboard and clicking on the modules and then determining which ones are here so as you can see the announcements and the cohorts channel mod and voice text linking has been disabled and we'll see here announcements and cohorts have been disabled so voice text linking well that's not even a feature so don't enable it no so the final one on the manager side of things is the customs now you all know that i love my custom commands now as soon as you type in customs over here it'll list you every single one of those commands now the additional items that you can do with customs is you can say customs show and then the p command just to show you and the b command consists of deleting the message I require the guardians to be able to do this and then I execute the purge command with any string that I'm submitting the same way I can go customs what else is there we can enable or disable so disable P okay so command P is now disabled so now if I want to go P 10 well that just doesn't do anything so customs enable P there we go P has now been re-enabled and then we can go P, uh, let's make it 100, doesn't matter. There we go. So the customs command is really, really powerful. Um, and it certainly helps if you've got a how-to channel like I do. If somebody asks you, hey, how did you do the stop music command? You can just go, well, I've got the customs and then show stop music. And there you go, buddy. That is all I did. Okay. So let's uh, get to the next section. The next section is just for the information section and it's purely just to see whether or not Dinobot is up and running. So I can say uptime and it'll say Dino has been up and running for five days, 14 hours. And of course you can also do the ping command and it'll tell you that it is up and running. Next is the moderator section. So for the moderators, you can warn somebody. I want to warn Stealthy Raptor, which is my test account. Uh, don't do that. Don't spam, buddy. And there you go. Stealthy Raptor has now been warned. Now, the second part of that command, if you want to see if there's anybody in the server that has got warnings on them, you can just type in warnings. And it'll tell you, hey, Yoken was the moderator who told Stealthy Raptor, don't spam on September the 20th. And if you want to clear those things, you can actually just go clear warn, which is the one that we touch base on in the moderate or in the manager section in the beginning of the video so now I want to do clear warn and stealthy raptor stealthy raptor and stealthy has now been cleared so if I type in warnings again there is now no warnings in the server so you can manage people's uh, strike one strike two strike three and you're out policies that you might have in your server okay so let's go diagnose diagnose so diagnose essentially on its own says, hey, what command do you want to diagnose? And then we'll see if that command is actually fine. So let's go diagnose and then let's say purge. There are no apparent issues with this command. So this is pretty cool. Can't do it for your custom commands, but any built-in commands, you can see whether or not everything is working on that command. Okay, next up we have got members. Lists the members in a role max up to 90 so now if I want to go members uh, guardians it'll actually tell me who's in that guardian list next up we have got role persist so role persist helps a person so stealthy raptor so stealthy raptor uh, okay so so you need to specify so it's role persist stealthy raptor and the role that you want him to have. So currently Stealthy Raptor is a dweller, if you look at the right over here. 
and we can go dweller, or maybe just dweller, and then the optional reason, because you're coolios, whatever. There, so now Stealthy Raptor, when I kick Stealthy Raptor and he comes back, he will be part of the dwellers group straight away and he won't need to start straight off the bat from drifters and so forth. Okay, and now we have got the lock command. So with the lock command, it locks a channel with optional timer and messages. So let's go, we want to lock the top 25 commands and maybe for one hour, uh, stop highlighting notifications on something that might be down or something that happened and everybody's just spamming the crap out of the channel you can just lock that straight away now because I have got administrator access I can still type in here but if you look at my stealthy Raptor who's logged in over here he now all of a sudden cannot chat there at all now let's go unlock uh, top 25 and you'll see on the right over here as soon as I unlock all of a sudden stealthy raptor can now type again so it's just an easy way to make sure that people don't spam anything in the channel anymore and then you can maintain a better running server so that brings us to roles now roles is something that i've actually touched base on at an earlier stage which is in my video and i'll list my video below and in the sidelines over here now with a rank you can create additional ranks um, I'm not going to go into the rank command itself but you can essentially join a cell or create a self joining rank and then join that rank and leave that rank with the rank command uh, then there is the ranks that actually lists all the ranks so if you see the gaming section over there if I now go rank gaming I've left the gaming group and I go rank gaming and I've joined the gaming group. If I want to add a new one, I can go add rank and then the names of everything as specified over here. Now, if you do want to see this, this is one of my first videos in the Dinobot quick guide. I have highlighted how to use the add rank and set up a command for that to make things a little bit easier. So feel free to go and look in my description below and in the sideline over here to look at the quick guide and see how that was done. Okay, now for the last seven little commands that I'm going to be running through is the fun command. So, of course, everybody knows there's a cat command which just goes and look for a little kitty. I don't know which kitty that is, but let's find another cat. Oh, I'm a little bit too quick. Okay, well, let's find a dog then. Okay, here's a dog. So there's the cat and the dog. Now, with the cat and the dog, you also have a cat fact which will give you a random fact about cats. Cats can predict earthquakes. We humans are not 100% sure how they do it. There are several different theories though. I did not know that. And then the other thing is dog facts. Husky dogs have been outright banned from Antarctica since 1994, which does not make sense at all, but sure, fun fact. Now, the ones that I really really like in the fun section is space now space will tell you the iis or the iss the international space station the current location for it and who's currently the astronauts on board it that is pretty cool alongside that we have got the weather so let's say what is the weather for mel oops, melbourne australia and the weather is da da da, and it gives you all the stats for that in both your metric and your other non-metric system. <laughs> I can't remember what that is now. Anyway, uh, next up we've got country. So let's go country Oz, or you can do Australia as well. And that'll kick out all the information on that country, the capital city, main currency, and so forth. And the last two, of course, who does not like a dad joke? Come on, everybody likes a dad joke. What are the strongest days of the week? It's Saturday and Sunday. The rest are weekdays. Ah, get it? Week? Oh my soul, that's such a dad joke. I'm going to run this thing on auto run just, just for my daughter all the time. <laughs> 
And finally, we have got something that saves me a little bit of time when I'm just not too sure what a word is. You can just go, well, what is the definition? So define channel. Okay, well, that's pretty good. What about if we define country? De belonging to or connected with countryside. Yeah, it's better than nothing when somebody just gives you some random words that you don't know. You can just quickly define it with your Dinobot. And that's it. That brings me to the top 25 unknown commands that people generally do not use when they get into Dinobot. So again, please go to your Dinobot dashboard, have a look at the command section and just go through all of these commands and see how they're using. There is a ton of commands that is extremely interesting and valuable to use on a daily basis. Anyway, that is it for me. Thank you very much for watching. Please drop a comment if you like this video. I know I've kind of went through it pretty fast, but tried to get it out for you before I'm going on holiday. So I shall see you in a week or two again. Thank you for watching. Yoke out.